Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an important sky, although the energy is focused on one particular area. And for you, that area is your daily life, your work. Uh, from the people who surround you there, the type of work that you're doing, clients, customers, and just being busy overall, your daily rituals and your health related habits are also covered here as well. So this is truly a place of power. It is a place of expertise. It is a place that represents uh, what it is that you do over and over again, where it is that you practice again and again, and people that you'll interact with frequently as well. But when we have such powerful breakthrough, forward focused energy, energy of meaningful change and transformation taking place in this area of your life, well, it pretty much guarantees that something about the way that you are living day in and day out is going to go through a metamorphosis at this time. But it isn't just about one moment and that's it, but rather, this month will represent a building and a progression and a change and an evolution of moments that continue forward from each other. I feel like there is so much potential here for you to really harness in on the power of the day, the power of the moment. And that really is what the universe is wanting you to see, that it is when you are truly present in the moment that your biggest breakthroughs can be had. And it really starts with the new moon, right around the fourth of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we are going to have a powerful new moon. It is one of the best new moons that I have seen in a while. It'll be speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto and Saturn, but also speaking in harmony with Neptune as well. So there's this sense of consequence, a sense of transformation, yes, but also results that last. And there's also inspiration as well that'll have you keeping the faith long enough to see tangible results. As we have the new moon in this area of life within days, Mercury will also move into this part of the sky and quickly connect with Uranus. Right in the middle of the month, Venus will move into this part of the sky and quickly connect with Uranus as well. So as you can see, there is this continuation of energy, a growth, if you will, that is going to be especially meaningful for you. So for some of you, this is going to bring change on a day-to-day -day level uh, where it comes to your work. There could be new workplace opportunities, a change in your role there, new clients, new customers, new coworkers as well can show up, especially in the days around the new moon. And it could be that what it is that you do on a very ritualistic day in day out basis where it comes to your work is gonna go through some transformation. As I said, the very least is there will be plenty of work to do which can be really nice as simple as getting more hours if you work hourly uh, to doing more rewarding tasks can be part of this as well for some it's going to be a brand new job altogether if that is what you are hoping for with those uranian connections taking place there is a real sense of leaping forward into your future and into something different that takes place at different moments of this month as well for some this is going to represent a change in how well you take care of you and your health and so there is going to be an increased focus and adjustment where it comes to the little things you do to affirm a healthy sense of self-love a healthy sense of self-care uh, whether it is your eating habits that go through a change now uh, there could be a change to the medications that you take as well these are areas that can come into focus but really it is now that uh, there's a lot of very cold turkey energy, okay? So you may have an insight, you have an epiphany, and very quickly you may find yourself letting go of a bad habit or creating some meaningful change that reaps results very quickly as well. Now, as we navigate later into the month, it is going to be right around the 18th of the month that we will have this month's full moon. This full moon is happening in a very private part of your sky. It's the sign just before yours. And this full moon 
will be standing across the sky from Mercury. Now, this part of the sky is interesting for a few reasons. It does have to do with uh, psyche and soul and uh, the unconscious and the things that we do unconsciously that we don't realize. And for that reason, this part of the sky is also connected to habit, but it's more like the habits you don't realize you have or the habits that have a very deep hold within you. That connection to Mercury uh, that is going to take place with this full moon suggests that something is coming to consciousness, something is coming to your awareness that is part of fueling a more profound change to how it is that you live. It could be that around the new moon you are inspired to make changes and you do, but this is where you hit uh, a level of deeper appreciation of what truly needs to change, of moving beyond just the superficial and getting to the root of a matter. And this is where the true power can be found. We've got Pluto speaking in harmony with this full moon as well. And this is gonna be energy that you have to sort of actively tap into. And it is energy of transformation and energy of truth. So there's tremendous potential here for knowing yourself more deeply, for bringing parts of yourself that you haven't appreciated into consciousness at this time. And it is ultimately in this journey that you will then be able to better root your yourself in a clearer understanding of what it is that is truly motivating you and what it is that is truly guiding some of those habits that you hadn't appreciated before. With this sense of awareness comes real and lasting transformation. Where it comes to matters of love, the first two weeks of the month, it is going to be Venus continuing to move through a very flirtatious and romantic part of your sky. This really is the sweet spot, if you will, okay, where it comes to flirtation and romance and pursuing what it is that the heart wants, including in matters of love. Now, to just give you a little bit of perspective, it is going to be next month that is going to be a big love-related month for you. You're going to have a new moon in your opposite sign, a full moon in your sign, uh, June really is truly important for you where it comes to matters of heart. This month, the energy is light, the energy is fun, where it comes to romance, and that's where it is best and where the blessings are if you choose to focus your energy in that direction. But where it comes to truly understanding partnership and yourself, that move is just around the corner. So appreciate this time now. I also think that it's very likely you're just gonna be so busy this month uh, in your day-to-day -day life that it's gonna feel a little bit like partnership has to take a little bit of a step back before it comes more into focus next month. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, that blessing of Venus is absolutely gonna work overtime for you, especially the first two weeks of the month. Important to prioritize your fun, be out and about. There's a lot of flirtatious and beautiful energy here. By the time we get to the second half of the month with Venus changing uh, signs and moving into a new sector, it becomes that much more likely that someone you meet either from work or through work has romantic potential. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, the first two weeks of the month, that is a beautiful placement for Venus to be in. For those of you who are dating, getting to know someone in the beginning stages of a relationship, uh, in a romance, if you will, we've got beautiful supportive energy there. I do think there's going to be a little bit, about a week in, there's a little bit of a moment of tension, a moment of uh, having a reality check as to what's really going on with this person and you. And once you go past that and once it is that you truly feel that this is someone that you want to continue to get to know well that's when we are going to start to move you into next month and things get more serious for those of you who are in an established bond it really is the romance that is the strength this month especially in the early part of the month so make sure you're trying to find those moments where you can connect with your partner and I would say especially in the very first days of the month once we get you to that new moon, the energy is going to change up first, not only because you become a lot more busier, uh, but also because 
that is when Venus is going to start to have more challenging connections with other power players. So as much as you can, the very first days of the month, that is when you want to nurture the connection that the two of you share and try to do something fun together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but I just love the power of the day. It truly is an energy that is grounding. It reminds you to be present. And it reminds you what Aristotle said, that we are essentially what we do constantly, day after day, uh, moment after moment. It is what we repeatedly do that defines who we are. Now, of course, there are different moments that will define us in different ways, but at least for this month, you will start to sense the truth of this. It is your ability to truly be present that will be a point of power for you. And as you own your power, as you come into truly the resilience and the brilliance of this moment, you'll be able to make the most of it. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this without all the background noise that you might have heard, and I'm really sorry about that. But yes, it happens once in a while. I did want to get this video done for you guys. But you can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.